guys welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be a 33 to 34 week pregnancy update i tried to do these videos a lot more often during my pregnancy but i feel like not a lot changes that often and I just did like a third trimester update um so this isn't going to be as in-depth or probably long of a video because I just did an update telling you everything that's been going on but there's a little bit more that's been going on and I'm just going to tell you about that so um now I am done with my iron infusions I had to get iron infusions because at my 28 week labs I got my blood drawn and I was anemic um due to pregnancy not due I, I was not anemic before pregnancy okay so like I said I was not anemic before pregnancy but um your baby just takes a lot of your nutrients while you're pregnant and it's not super uncommon to develop anemia in pregnancy and mine was kind of severe so I ended up getting iron infusions so I got done with that last week um I had five iron infusion sorry if i'm acting weird i have a pain in my side but i'm still gonna film this video okay so yeah i had five iron infusions if you guys want to know more about that that is in my third trimester update video i talk all about that and like how they work and then i have a vlog showing like an actual iron infusion happening so i will link that below leave it in an i card or something um i'm still going to centering appointments but they have been changed to every two weeks instead of every four weeks um and i think that changed around i want to say 32 weeks that just means i'm getting um uh, monitored closely if you guys don't know centering is something that my hospital does and it's like a group set a group appointment so you sit around and talk with other women who are doing the same month as you um and you also get like checked by a midwife um like one-on-one -on -one, but then you go back to the group so that's gonna be every two weeks now and um at my last appointment I my blood pressure was a little high and it's been getting progressively higher throughout my pregnancy I've always been super consistent with my blood pressure being like pretty much normal 120 over 70 right around those numbers but it's been progressively getting higher and at this last appointment it was like 139 over 80 seven i want to say and so that's kind of abnormal for me and they said that they're just going to keep an eye on it because it can be an early sign of preeclampsia and that is basically high blood pressure and it can be dangerous to the baby so they're going to keep an eye on that um i don't feel any other symptoms that uh come along with preeclampsia like headaches or changes in vision but now that I'm saying that, I do kind of notice a change in vision, but nothing that has been super concerning to me. Um, and overall, I feel pretty good. So we'll just have to see how that turns out. So I had a 32 week growth scan and um, it was just because my baby was measuring a little bit ahead at my anatomy scan and they just wanted to see how she was growing. Um, like 12 weeks later so i had an anatomy scan no i had an anatomy scan at 22 weeks and then i had a growth scan at 32 weeks and then i got the results back from the growth scan i don't think this is in my last video that i talk about this but my results came back from that and i was a little concerned because they were saying that her head they were saying that her head was measuring a little not on not on scale i don't know if it was too small or too big but at my uh growth scan it was actually like a really painful growth scan um i think i talked about this but she is measuring in the 98th percentile which means yeah i think i talked about this that two percent of babies are bigger than her um so she's just like a really big baby i was a big baby i think i've told you guys before i weighed nine pounds three ounces when i was born and nick weighed eight pounds 14 ounces and they say that your baby is going to weigh similar to what you and your husband weighed so we're expecting a big baby but 
Now we're really expecting a big baby baby because of her growth scan. I have to get another growth scan at 30, 36 weeks to see if she's measuring big. Um, and my anatomy scan, she, weighed, she was in the 79th percentile. She moved up to the 98th percentile and um, they didn't change her due date, but they're thinking that she's probably gonna be coming a little bit earlier rather than later and they're just gonna be keeping an eye on it. You would think that that meant that like, I would be super big, my bump would be really big, but in, on, in all honesty, I'm carrying her pretty well for her size. Um, she weighed 5.5 5 pounds at the growth scan and they say after 32 weeks, your baby gains about half a pound every week. So if you do the math, that means she's gonna be about nine, nine and a half pounds. But that also could be inaccurate, which I know ultrasounds um for weight can be inaccurate so i'm not like going off of that too much but i've said from the beginning i thought i was gonna have a big baby and it's something i wrap my head around um but as far as like inducing me early or c-section we're just gonna cross that bridge when we come to it and hope that i go into labor naturally and um if I go beyond 39 weeks, that is when they will talk about induction and C-section. Um, so for my birth plan, honestly, all I want is just to have a healthy birth. I want to have an epidural. Um, and I also am, I'm not opposed to anything that they need to do to get her out safely. So if a C-section is what I have to have, then I am open to having a C-section. I would prefer to not but if it's something that they say we're gonna have to do i i've pretty much accepted the fact that i will i'm fine with that if that happens okay so for me what is happening this week is that i have just been super uncomfortable uh it's harder to walk up the stairs now i'm just moving slower feel like i kind of got the pregnancy wobble or waddle whatever um yeah if i shower i look down i can't see my feet um i feel like my stomach is stretching so i've been using a lot of oil um taking baths with like um i bought the dr teal's epsom salt bath um and then i put oil in it as well just to like get extra moisturized <laughs> make sure my stomach is staying moisturized and um I'm out of breath all of the time. I feel like every time I edit a vlog, I need to put like a disclaimer on there. Like, sorry, I'm out of breath. I don't even notice when I am out of breath until I edit a video, but I'm out of breath like a lot. I, I have anxiety, as you guys know, this is not like pregnancy related anxiety. I have anxiety and the past, I want to say the week, like last week was really hard for my anxiety and, um, uh, I could my anxiety revolves a lot around like my health or like my heart and um i my heart has just been working overtime i feel like which is normal because you're growing a baby and it is working overtime um but i was having really bad anxiety because of that and um had a rough couple days last week but i'm actually starting to feel better um and more like myself which it could be contributed to the iron infusions that I got, but I'm not really sure. I feel like my face has been getting like progressively bigger. I don't know if you guys can tell, but yeah. Also, I've been gaining weight. It's pretty easy for me to gain one to two pounds a week right now. Um, I hit 150 this week, so that was... I've always been really skinny, um, and I've always been skinny so gaining weight was hard for me i when nick was deployed i was like doing like mass gainer and going to the gym trying to gain weight and like eating a ton of protein and just like doing whatever i could to gain weight and maybe gain five pounds with all that work and now seeing like the weight come on so quickly it's kind of crazy to be honest <laughs> so it's definitely an adjustment um seeing yourself gain weight so much um but I'm hoping that I'm able to kind of keep some of the weight because I, I do like prefer to have a little bit of meat on my bones, but I'm, I'm nervous for after, um, 
I give birth to see if the weight comes off. So, okay, I forgot to mention this in the update, but I wanted to add this in. Um, another thing that's been happening this week is that her, I'm, I'm sore, kind of like all over. Um, I feel like I've been punched like in the crotch. And also her feet are like in my ribs. So my ribs are like constantly sore and it feels like someone punched me in them. So that is also something that's been going on. Super fun. I wanna show you guys my bump. I've been getting a lot of compliments on my bump, but I've also been getting a lot of people telling me that I look small. I don't look as far along as I am. And honestly, that's a little frustrating because I'm like, well, I feel huge. I feel like there's a basketball inside of me. So um, I'll show you my bump. So I wanted you guys to know that I'm going to be filming like a hospital bag. Um, what's in my hospital bag? I'm going to be filming a postpartum kit because I have bought a bunch of stuff for postpartum. And then I'm also going to be filming like a labor and delivery plan or just stuff I've learned from my centering group because I've learned a lot from the group and I want to share it with you guys because I feel like a lot of people don't always know what questions to ask. I know I didn't and then I had all of these women asking tons of questions and it was super helpful so if you guys are interested in that definitely subscribe to my channel thank you guys for watching the video if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and i will see you in the next one bye